Bonjour à tous, je m'appelle Adrielle. Ah, wait, no, I'm not doing this video in French, don't you worry. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrielle, if you don't know me, and if you do know me and you already have been here, welcome back to the party. <laughs> There's a lot of information out there on the French wardrobe, right? So from articles to YouTube videos, if you have even the slightest interest in France or the slightest interest in fashion, I'm sure you have seen an article describing what the French girl look is. French girl look. However, there are a couple things I've always noticed when I have read these articles or kind of seen these videos. One is that a lot of time they're actually created by people who don't live in France <laughs> or live in Paris. And while there's, of course, nothing wrong with that, I do think that there are different things that you notice when you are a tourist, when you are visiting someplace, than when you live there every day. The second thing I would say that I've noticed about a lot of these articles is that they really overcomplicate French style. French style is actually quite simple and they, what these articles do, I notice a lot, is they project kind of an image that frankly is not real. So in today's video, I'm going to kind of help with both of these things by sharing with you what an actual Parisian capsule wardrobe would look like. These are based on my observations having lived here in France for four plus years. I love it. And I am a fashionista and so I love and notice fashion a lot. And particularly since I moved here during the COVID pandemic, I actually really got to see French style every single day because there were no tourists. It was just all French people. And so the items that I'm really going to be showing you are the things that I see most often on French women. They're going to be the things that I see over and over again and such that they have become really kind of my understanding of pieces that a lot of French women actually have in their wardrobes. Now, one more thing that I do want to note is that I am saying Parisian capsule wardrobe. I want to be clear. That is because a lot of what you see where it's saying, oh, this is French style, really is Paris. <laughs> I'm just gonna be frank, that, that really is what it is. So that's why I'm saying that this is a Parisian capsule wardrobe, not necessarily a French capsule wardrobe because you really can't just say, oh, the whole country dresses like this. No, these are the things that I'd say that you will really see in Paris. So that said, let's get into it. To start off your Parisian capsule wardrobe, you are going to need a trench coat. And not just one style of trench coat, but actually two styles of trench coats. So the first style you're going to want is just a plain trench coat. So I have one right here, a Burberry trench coat. Everyone knows it. It is the quintessential trench coat. You will see tons of women wearing this, particularly in the spring, somewhat in the fall, but definitely very much a spring Paris look. So a plain trench coat. That's what you need, particularly like this brown trench coat. That's, that's, what, that's what you're going to see on a lot of different women. However, it's not just a plain trench coat that you'll need. You're also going to see another style of trench coat that I know I see on a lot of Parisian women, particularly in the spring, also in the fall. And that would be a leather or suede trench coat. So I have this one right here. It is a leather trench coat. I also have a second leather trench coat, which is in this brown color here. I tend to opt for this black one more in the fall and in the, in the winter, like as winter is just starting to turn to spring. But then in the spring, when we get more into like April and whatnot, I tend to wear this brown one more. I also wear it a lot in the fall. But either way, you see tons and tons of women wearing black trench coats just like this. This one right here is vintage. This one, I actually bought it in the US and had my family ship it to me. Um, it's from a brand called Italic. And basically what they do is they make items out of what's, what's essentially excess fabric from luxury brands. So it's a great place to get something on a slightly like lower budget, um, on a more reasonable price, let's say, than what you might find it otherwise if you're buying it from, the act, from an actual you know, name brand. Another style trench coat you'll also see a lot is a suede trench coat. I actually don't have a suede trench coat. I've been looking for one to add to my collection, but I have yet to find one. 
my, I'm personally going to be opting for something that's vintage. One of the styles that you'll see more so even than just kind of a suede trench coat is like the suede like bomber jacket almost. It kind of hits a little bit lower. Um, and it's just a really super cute style and you see that a lot in the pairs, particularly in the fall. So these are kind of the style of trench coats and jackets that you would want to add to your wardrobe if you're looking to bring a little bit of Parisian flair to it. Now for any Parisian capsule wardrobe you are looking to build, you are also going to want to have some tops to it. So I'm going to show you some of the style of tops that you're definitely going to want to have. First and foremost, you're going to want to have the classic tried and true button down white shirt, okay? We know it, you know, you know, you gotta have a button down white shirt and it really can be any style. This one is kind of fun. It has these slightly puppy sleeves. This is a French brand called Parisian Aloha, but really it could be anything like that. If you don't have a plain white button down shirt, which is possible, you may not. You also might wanna consider getting a blue one or something with stripes, like vertical stripes. You'll see that a lot as well. So really just a really nice crisp button down shirt, white, blue or even stripe is something that you'd want to ha add if you're going to be creating a Parisian capsule wardrobe. Two other things you want to have are cardigans, right? So cardigans are a big essential um, thing that you see in Paris, particularly in the spring, because the weather is always changing and you got to be dressed for the part. So in the spring and fall, you'll see a lot of women wearing cardigans right here. This is one I have, it's from Cezanne. It's kind of pretty well known. And then I have another one here that is uh, from, I believe like a Belgian brand. And this I bought here in Paris at Printemps. But see, cardigans, you definitely want to make sure you have those in your Parisian capsule wardrobe. And it can be just cardigans in the style. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy. It, it, it really doesn't. I feel like people make it super complicated. It doesn't need to be. Another thing you're going to want to have in your Parisian capsule wardrobe is, drum roll please, a red sweater. So I right here have this red turtleneck sweater that I bought from the French brand from the future. Your, this is... This has to be in your Parisian capsule wardrobe because literally everybody has a red sweater here. Also a red turtleneck sweater. So <laughs> whether you do a red turtleneck, you don't like turtlenecks, you can do crew neck, whatever, but your Parisian capsule wardrobe absolutely 100% has to include a red sweater. And the great thing about this is that this is something that you'll often layer over a white button down shirt or a striped shirt. So that's why I say that this is just something that is definitely an essential aspect of a Parisian capsule wardrobe. All right, the next item that you're gonna to wanna to add to your Parisian capsule wardrobe will be a blazer, okay? Now, a lot of people will just say, oh, you need a black blazer. Here's the thing. You can go fun, you can have fun with your blazers, okay? So I'll give you an example. Right here, I have this cute Simone Rocha blazer. I have shown it to you in other videos before. The reason why I'm showing it to you again is because I love it. I love this blazer, I got it vintage, and it's super cute because it has just kind of this really fun display on the front, which I think is a lot of fun, okay? And that's one of the things that I think, that's why I kind of really like this blazer. I, I, I think it's fun. You could also do a plain black blazer as well. In the spring or fall though, you're definitely going to see women wearing more colorful blazers. So this is an example. This was actually, I got this from Nordstrom before I left the US. And you see, it's this really pretty green color with these cute little buttons. And it almost looks like a Chanel blazer because it's kind of like this tweed-like fabric, but not quite. You literally, a blazer, even in color, something vibrant like this, you will see women wearing things like this in the spring and summer and also the fall. So that's why I say go for a colorful blazer. Like that is should definitely be a part of your Parisian capsule wardrobe. Don't think it just has to be a plain black blazer or something like that or a plain brown or navy, whatnot. No, go with color, go with something fun. Now, one of the most important parts of any Parisian woman's wardrobe are her jeans, okay? Jeans, jeans everywhere everywhere on all kinds of jeans. But there are three styles that I would say that you kind of see a lot more often, more frequently on women in Paris. So the first style that you see a lot are straight leg denim, particularly the Levi's 501s. You see these all of the time. 
I love these and they're really comfortable and versatile jeans. So you'll see a lot of women wearing straight leg denim and that's one of what you can expect and you'll want to add to your Parisian capsule wardrobe. The second style of denim that you're gonna to wanna to also add into your Parisian capsule wardrobe will be something like this, like a flare bottom pit jean. You see these a lot in Paris, women are wearing them all the time. This is a really huge style. So you'll definitely wanna make sure that you include something like this in your Parisian capsule wardrobe. And yes, you can do it even in black. You'll see a lot of black denim and then a lot of blue denim here. It does tend to air on the side of darker denim. So for your Parisian capsule wardrobe, what you wanna be looking for probably is a little bit darker denim, dark washes of denim. But yes, a wide leg flare jean is another type of jean that you would want in your Parisian capsule wardrobe. So another style of jean that you'll also wanna to add to your Parisian style wardrobe is a wide leg jean, just generally a wide leg. You don't have to go with flare, just wide leg of this one. This is another style that you see a lot here in Paris. A lot of women are wearing this. They pair all of these jean styles with button down shirts, blazers, etc. So this is why it's just something that you would want to add if you're going to be doing a Parisian capsule. Now, one of the most important things that I do wanna note if you are doing a Parisian capsule wardrobe is that you have to make sure you're tailoring it to you and what looks best for you and for your body type. So right, I've given you three different types of jeans, straight, wide leg, wide leg with a flare. These are jean styles that you see overwhelmingly in Paris. You see women wearing them all of the time. However, with that said, women wear what looks good on them. So if one of these styles doesn't look great on you or doesn't fit or whatnot, you don't need to add it to your capsule wardrobe. Just, just don't, because that is the number one rule of Parisian style is that you wear what looks good on you and that's what you stick with. So don't pick out a style of jean if it doesn't work for you. Don't think you gotta add that. And definitely make sure you, you only have to stick with what works best for you. Now, one last thing I wanna note that should be definitely 100% in your Parisian capsule wardrobe is, drum roll please, ladies and gentlemen the red dress with the itty bitty little flowers. Okay, so this is a style of dress you see all the time in Paris. French women love this style of dress. It is these red dresses, generally wrap dresses, with itty bitty little flowers on them or an itty bitty little pattern that looks similar to flowers. This is a style that you will really see everywhere in the spring and summer months. So it is an essential, essential piece <laughs> in a Parisian capsule wardrobe. If you if you want to make sure you have the most authentic Parisian capsule wardrobe, get the little red dress with the little flowers on it like that. <laughs> that is it for you. <laughs> now no Parisian capsule wardrobe would be complete without the right shoes. So let's dive into the shoes that you'd want to add in to your collection if you are trying to kind of create and achieve a, a bit of a Parisian look. First and foremost is a pair of loafers. You are always going to see Parisian women walking around with loafers. They are just a really great versatile shoe, particularly in the fall, particularly in the spring. So you will always see women with loafers and frankly the winter you'll see women with loafers and tights or loafers and socks. So yes, if you want to kind of build a Parisian capsule wardrobe, you're gonna make sure you have in a pair of loafers to that. These loafers are from Everlane. I got them forever ago, but I also have Gucci loafers. I have Church's loafers. Loafers, I think you're hopefully getting the, the gist of that. <laughs> Another shoe that you're going to want to add to your Parisian capsule wardrobe would be a low boot like this with a nice low heel. So as you see, it's kind of a short boot and it has a nice short heel because that's what makes it a bit more walkable <laughs> because here in Paris, if you're gonna get on your bike, you're getting on a bike with your heels on. So you gotta make sure they don't they don't get caught in the bike and you gotta be able to walk around all day. So yes, that is the thing. Uh, you, you wanna make sure you have a nice, comfortable, low-heeled booty. And something like this is something you would definitely want to add to your Parisian capsule wardrobe because this shoe, you are gonna wear this shoe in the fall with your denim. You're gonna wear this shoe in the, in the, in the winter. This is going to be kind of your go-to shoe in your Parisian capsule wardrobe for kind of the colder months. So you definitely wanna make sure that you have this in your Parisian capsule wardrobe. Another shoe you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure you have in your Parisian capsule wardrobe is a pair of Mary Jeans. These are from Cezanne. They are the style that you kind of see Cezanne releasing a lot right now. These are actually in a cute little green color that matches my dress. Um, but definitely a pair of Mary Jeans. 
needs to be a part of any Parisian capsule wardrobe that you're doing. It goes with everything. It goes with dresses, skirts, jeans. It's a very versatile shoe. You can wear it with socks, you can wear it without socks. You know, you can just kind of wear it all the time. So definitely 100%. You want to make sure your Parisian capsule wardrobe has a pair of Mary Janes in it. Now, the most important shoe in your Parisian capsule wardrobe is going to 100% be the sneaker because you walk all of the time in Paris. <laughs> Sneakers are it! <laughs> So you're going to want to have a pair of sneakers, particularly we wear a lot of white sneakers, we let our white sneakers get super, super dirty. So dirty white sneakers, most authentic shoe you can have if you're trying to create a Parisian capsule wardrobe and kind of add in some Parisian pieces to your wardrobe to kind of help give you a more Parisian look. White sneakers, dirty white sneakers, that's the best. Yeah. One of the last pieces that you are definitely going to want to make sure is in your Parisian capsule wardrobe is a scarf. Okay, particularly a silk scarf. You are always going to see Parisian women with their scarves, with their silk scarves, walking around Paris. They always have it, whether it's tied around their little neck or just kind of wrapped around them. You, you see this, and so definitely know this is actually a quintessential part of the Parisian capsule wardrobe. Do you see women with it around their hair all the time like you see in the magazine articles? No. They just wear it around their scarf, their, their neck, comme ça. What? So, so, just like that. But that is kind of like a super chic way that you tend to see people wearing their scarves. So definitely, you'll want to make sure that you have a scarf for your Parisian capsule wardrobe. Now, the most important piece in your Parisian capsule wardrobe needs to be something that is unique to you and your personal style. So as I kind of mentioned already in the video, I, when I was talking about the denim, I said, you go with the style that works for you. That's one of the things about French women is that they really do wear the clothes that look good on them and they, they stick to that. But everything they do is very much reflective of their personal style. So what they're wearing reflects them. So one aspect of my personal style that you'll notice that I do tend to wear a lot in my videos, headbands. Headbands are a really huge part of my personal style. I love headbands. I really like just having that extra bit of pizzazz in my hair, <laughs> whether my hair is straight or curly, but particularly when it's curly because I can do a lot more fun with it. I also kind of like a headband. I feel a little like I'm a queen. <laughs> but for me, that is an integral part of my personal style. So it's something that is always gonna be kind of in the outfits that I'm wearing. That is one of the most important parts about creating a Parisian capsule wardrobe is that you have to have something in there that is unique and distinct for you. It's something unexpected, something that other people won't have. And if they do have it, they're doing it a different way. They're doing it in a manner that's different from you. That is really what is going to make your Parisian capsule wardrobe is that unique item whatever that twist is that you put on fashion, that's what's going to be. The clothes are the clothes. You know, you can put together the clothes, but it's what, it's how you put it together. It's that unique touch that you add to it that's gonna make it very much you. And it's gonna make it something that's very unique to you. And that's what is going to set your Parisian capsule apart and make it super authentic is because you're not trying to just imitate someone directly you're also bringing in your own personal style and that's that's in essence parisian style now let's talk about some of the things that you did not see in this parisian capsule wardrobe that you probably would have expected to see in a parisian capsule wardrobe one berets no. number two Striped shirts or striped sweaters, you know, those horizontal striped shirts or sweaters called Marion Yeh. Yeah, um, you don't need to walk around wearing that. Literally, I feel like that's something that people wear when they want to imitate someone who's French, not necessarily where you see like hundreds or thousands of women walking around wearing like that style of shirt every single day. I just find that it's a bit overdone. <laughs> And so as a result, do I, can I tell you, do I see women wearing it? Yes. Do I see, do I have some style of sweaters and shirts like that? Yes, 100%. But is it something that I think needs to be in your capsule wardrobe? No. 
because it's just not common enough and also I think at this point it's almost a caricature and so you wouldn't want that in your in your Parisian capsule wardrobe because then you just look like you're trying too hard. <laughs> Another thing that you will notice you're not going to see in the Parisian capsule wardrobe that I have shown you today are neutrals. Yeah there's going to be a lot of color lots of color you'll notice one of the overarching colors is going to be red the french love love red liberté qualité fraternité rouge yes the french love them some red and so you're gonna just definitely notice that there are a lot of red clothing uh here for you to see in this capsule wardrobe so that's another thing you don't have to think you have to ditch color if you want to create a parisian capsule wardrobe you you don't have to do that you get to include color incorporate color it, it's not something that you have to only stick with black and white and navy and and beige <laughs> you know bring in the color sister honey uh you you know have fun you know you you don't think that a parisian capsule wardrobe is just neutrals because it is it is not a parisian wardrobe is not just neutrals so there you have it an authentic parisian capsule wardrobe that is based 100 percent on the things that i actually see women in paris wearing all the time these are the patterns that I've noticed that I've picked up over the years that I've been here. These are the items that women are wearing. These are the colors. They are wearing color. They are being vibrant and they are also bringing unique touches to their outfits. So that even though there are similarities and you see a lot of women wearing the same pieces, they're not wearing them all the same. Definitely let me know if you have any questions or thoughts in the comments. You know, I always love to hear them, always love to chat. Take care, stay safe, and talk to you again soon. Bye!